2-0 on the night it must have been very satisfying to play in, the, in that game yeah it was brilliant um, I think anybody at home watching it tonight would have seen how good a team we are second half especially we made the pitch really big kept them running and I thought at the end they were, they were out in their legs big style yeah Rovers did cause us a few problems in the first half I think they, they, they strung the bodies across the midfield we struggled for a while to get going, but eventually we did find our feet then toward the end of the first half. Yeah, I thought like um, I thought we were on top early doors, got the goal, um, and we sat back, gave them you know gave them time to play, and uh, had a couple of chances to hit the post twice, um, you know a couple of good saves from Murph. Um, seen it out till half time. We had a talk about a talk about it at half time. Got a sword and that second half we were very dominant. I thought we were uh, by far the better side. Yeah, Bowes reached uh, top gear I think in the second half and Rovers just had no answer. Yeah, top football wise. Um, like since I've been here, I think second half this play is probably the best best that I've had anyways in a in a team. I thought you know passing and movement. Between Jason Byrne, Crowe, Joseph and Dahl, especially, I thought it was fantastic. And Gary Dagan getting man of the match, I thought it was well deserved. Yeah, there was some fa fantastic movement down the left hand side between yourself, Joseph, and uh, the, the strikers there. Yeah. There is room for improvement, though. There was a few balls that did go astray in the middle of the park. Now, that might be nit nitpicking, but. Yeah, well, I, we're always going to try to improve as a team. Um, if we can keep playing the way we did in the second half, I think we can put a good run together and uh, see ourselves up. Up at uh, top of the table come the end of the season, please go. Yeah, hopefully so. Thank yeah, you very no much, Mark. No